Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis, trying out the new microphone this morning, and uh, it seems to do a pretty good job of uh, reducing the wind noise. Now when I pulled up, I watched the dolphins for a few minutes, got my camera and microphone, walked up to the bulkhead. And I haven't seen a dolphin since. <laughs> That's just the way it goes. Hey, do you know why moon rocks taste better than earth rocks? Eh, they're just a little meatier. <laughs> oh, man. Sun and rain today, guys. Hey, Scott. Good morning. Roll my intro. We got a real interesting sky down here in uh, Fulton Harbor. People are fishing. There's the new fishing pier. Hey, adventuring art. Next time you're here, buddy, when this pier's all lit up at night, might be a cool place to uh, get your drone out. Check out Art's channel. I'll put a link in the description. He's done some really cool uh, travel and adventure videos. And if you're into tech gear, especially for camping and boondocking and just uh, in case the power goes out at your house, Art's your guy. He's done uh, some really good reviews on uh, several great backup uh, sources to have. There's the Love Shack, guys. That's where I have uh, slept the last two and a half years. Home sweet home. Goose Island State Park. You can uh, rent spots over here. Water and electric hookups right on Aransas Bay and on the other side of the causeway there is uh, Copano Bay there's also part of the park is uh, back in the woods a little bit tree lined right now it's mosquito lined and I saw one person camping in that whole section of the park up and down every road, the circle, and the whole loop. There, uh, there wasn't even a park host back in there. So, uh, yeah, mosquitoes are a problem. The wind's only uh, seven miles an hour right now, but there's no mosquitoes here along the water, so that's pretty awesome. Lamar, Texas, right along the bay. Fishermen to the left and the right and straight ahead out on the boat. Looks like it's gonna rain, but we'll see. We'll see what's going on. Kinda of, kind of a fisherman getting ready. Those guys just pulled up. They're gonna catch the big ones. Some fish for dinner sounds pretty tasty though. Hey, uh, I got a gift from uh, Barbie through my PayPal account. Thank you, Barbie. We'll do something fun with that, like put gas in the car or 
pay a bill, thank you very much. There's someone who always sends me nice things and doesn't want me to say her name, but I appreciate you, my friend. There is a awesome burger chain that some of you may know about called Whataburger, originated uh, right here in Corpus Christi. This is the location on uh, South Staples Street. This is a replica of the original building. A lot of people think the first Whataburger ever was that building right there. It is not. It is a replica. It is right next to a working uh, Whataburger. Other people think the original is the uh, two-story Whataburger down on the bay by the downtown area. That is not. The original one opened up August 18th, 1950 on Ayers Avenue, right across from Del Mar College. Uh, burgers back then were about four inches. Whataburger went crazy and offered the five inch burger where people would look at it and just be amazed and say, what a burger. It was 25 cents. Portland, Texas guys. Wildcat Park, overlooking beautiful Corpus Christi Bay. I'm amazed at how quiet it is here today. There's usually quite a few people here. Uh, some of the old timers like to get and uh, sit and talk there. On a windy day, there'll be 10 to 30 people here uh, kiteboarding. Yeah. Still waters. Not much wind today, but when you get down here by the bay, you're going to feel whatever wind there is. I think it's about 11 miles an hour today. So this will put a little test uh, to my microphone. It has been super humid and wet, and uh, especially overnight. And uh, I'm noticing the last week or two, I've had like a little wheeze. And it doesn't help that I put this microphone about six inches below my mouth. Isn't that pretty? Absolutely stunning. Looks like a Van Gogh painting. Well, ain't this pretty. Now, I have a problem today because I spent some time with a friend of mine. And he's from Louisiana. But... He born Baton Rouge, but he got out of there early in life. So he a little Cajun, but he not all the way Cajun. Uh, Cause I can understand what he's saying, but and here's, here's where the word Cajun comes from. On occasion, I don't know what he's talking about. And that's how I know he a little Cajun. And he, he traveled a bit and he a cook. He good boy. Uh, Fair man, good uh, deposition. That's what he say, deposition. <laughs> and now, after I see him, I'm going to talk like him for three or four days. Yeah, it's a problem. And I also think he was raised by Ric Flair. Because he liked to go, woo, a lot. You know, like Ric Flair, the wrestler. And, uh, yeah, he'd be like, ooh, I'm going to cook you something good. Woo! This always looks like... So much fun to me. Just sitting in my chair, watching the boats go by, and these people have paddled by a few times. Looks like they got a uh, some kayaks. I forget uh, paddle boards. That's what they're called, paddle boards. Kind of like big surfboards. I actually saw some younger people earlier paddle boarding on surfboards, but uh, it just looks like fun, you know, especially around here up and down the canals on a calm day like this. Yeah. Mellow. Today's just an odd day, guys. The, the birds aren't going crazy, crazy. Uh, the wind is down. 
the air is thick. I don't know what the humidity is, but uh, yeah. I'm uh, going to get some stuff done in the back of the truck, and I might be back later tonight with a sunset. Thanks for watching, everyone.